Wholesale University. The university where people learn stuff about art and stuff. So you're here for one reason, and that is to get the question answered, is Full Sail a scam? It's a long-winded answer, but if you're literally only here to ask that question, I will give you the answer. I don't think so. Okay, I'll give you some context. I graduated from Full Sail in 2011. It has now been over a decade since I graduated from Full Sail, and I made a career out of the thing that I learned at Full Sail. So is Full Sail a scam? No, I learned a lot of things at Full Sail that eventually got me into the industry. I did a lot of work. I moved my way up. I made a living from the things that I learned at Full Sail. But hold on, there's more. There's always more. I'll give you some numbers. The first number that is the most painful number is how much money I owed Full Sail after I went to Full Sail. I owed $72,000 roughly in student loans, which I've been lucky enough to pay off through lots of diligent hard work, but that did take almost a decade to pay off. And the next number that I'm gonna tell you makes that number even scarier. And that number is that my class started with a roughly 120 something people in the class. By the time I graduated, there was only, I think 19 of us. And that's because people either dropped out failed some classes and got held back, it wasn't pretty. Now the next number I'm going to tell you makes that number even scarier because of those 19 people, I'm pretty sure that I can count on one hand how many of those people actually are still working in the industry, myself included. I know what you're thinking. It's starting to sound a lot like full sales a scam, but there's more to this and this is the kind of crux of this entire video that I wanted to make has to do a lot with this. There is a huge, in my opinion, this is not, this is just my opinion. Okay, guys, this is not a fact, but in my opinion, the biggest caveat of, I think what makes people iffy about full sale is the way they market themselves. It's the gateway to your dream. It's getting the mix just right. The way Full Sail and other specialized kind of colleges market themselves really just tries to appeal to the most wide possible audience. They want everyone who's ever had a creative thought in their mind to consider going to Full Sail for whether it be, you know, film directing, uh, audio engineering, producing, et cetera, et cetera. My point is, is that it makes sense that when the barrier to entry is so low, you're going to get a lot of people falling off the wayside and you're going to get a lot of people complaining about how their dreams didn't come true. Before you watch anything else in this video, I want you to understand that this industry, any creative industry is not an easy industry to get into. And every single person will tell you that, but every person who goes to a place like Full Sail or Art Institute or any of these places has that thing in their head that says, I'm different, I'm special, I'm gonna do it better. And the most common thing that I saw amongst everyone that went to Full Sail, myself included, is that everyone felt like they were special, like they could bypass the system, like they could just shortcut it, they had the creative genius that nobody else had, that they could just learn the basics and that then their genius would take over and you'd be on autopilot and you know find success in the business. Another big misconception about places like Full Sail is that by going to Full Sail you will automatically get connected and networked with the biggest professionals in the industry. You will have those opportunities but it's not easy. And I think I was lucky enough to believe the people that told me that it wasn't gonna be easy. And the truth is that it really does take a long time. One of the running jokes uh, at Full Sail was that everyone thought they were the next Kanye West. This is arguably when Kanye was really blowing up and he was kind of like everywhere. This is the Taylor, I'm gonna let you finish moment that he had. I I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish. This was around that time. So he was pretty big and so I think everyone wanted to be Kanye West, this guy who just went against the status quo, was super creative, bent a bunch of rules and seemingly, you know, came from nothing. And because he is a producer and he is a uh, production oriented, uh, 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 
Yeah. I think having somebody like that in the spotlight made everyone feel like if he can do it, I can do it. And a lot of people started getting into that path of like engineering producing, thinking that that would be their way to catapult themselves into the limelight as a producer. And that's the that's the key right there. A lot of people went to Full Sail not to learn a technical skill, but instead to try to catapult themselves into the front of the line, so to speak. And this is where I go back to saying that the thing that Full Sail does that gives it a bad rep is how it markets itself. It's doing what you love every day. It seemingly promises you that sort of limelight exposure. It really tries to sell itself as a launching pad for your career. And what ends up happening is you start getting a lot of people who maybe aren't ready, maybe haven't put in the work, maybe don't even know what they really want, kind of get starry-eyed and hop right into going to Full Sail. So if there's anything you take away from this video, it's not that Full Sail is a scam, it's that if you're going to Full Sail, understand that you're going to learn a technical skill. It will not put you in front of a producer that's gonna hear your beats or your production or your singing or your coding skills or anything like that. It is not a fast lane to the rock star life. I can tell you that right now. And the people who did succeed, the people who are still working in the industry were the people who treated it like school, a technical school, a place where you have access to some really great tools and some really great minds. And it's really ultimately up to you to really treat it like something that you need to learn like the back of your hand. You need to remove your ego from it entirely and absorb as much information as you can while you're there. And then afterwards, you can go and be a rock star, but that's something that you gotta pull off on your own accord. Full sale is not that. I wanted to make this video because for many years after I graduated, I um, would often get asked when people would find out that I went to full sale, they're like, oh, full sale, huh? Yeah, and I would get one of those. And I always didn't think that was super fair. Um, because there was some really, really great teachers there and the gear that you get to play with there is top of the line. Now, the downside is, is that realistically, a lot of that really high end gear, you're not ever going to get to touch again once you graduate for at least a decade. It feels like, you know, maybe you'll get a few chances here and there, but it took a while to actually be at the point where I was able to, you know, be in front of that gear again. And yeah, but that was over a decade ago now. So I don't know what the state of Full Sail is, but from what I can tell, it still very much uh, seems to be offering the same sort of dreams that it used to. Where every person that walks through the door as an individual has their own ideas and their own dreams. And the effort is to meet them where they are and help them along their path. So while I don't think it's a scam, I think it's important to point out that the marketing doesn't quite reflect what the reality of Full Sail is. It's a technical school that has really great gear and you have to bust your ass to really learn how to use it. I think the better question that people should be asking these days is with the advent of the internet, YouTube, and just the ability to like even just DM uh, an engineer that was on your favorite album, is a thing like Full Sail or any other uh, technical college worth it and ultimately that's a question for you to answer for yourself i won't beat around the bush i think that all the things that i learned at full sale are freely available online i could now learn all of the things that i learned uh online 100 percent there's channels like this one and hundreds of others that combined can give you even more information that i think i picked up at full sale but i think it's really important to point out that technical colleges offer two big things that you won't be able to necessarily get from YouTube. And that has to do with number one, access to facility and gear and professionals that have been in the industry that you can ask a question and have a conversation with. So that's pretty valuable in itself. But more importantly than that, I think what something like Full Sail can offer is pointed knowledge. Meaning, could I find out how a compressor works on the internet by searching, how does a compressor work on YouTube? Yeah, I would definitely learn. But most people don't even know that a compressor exists. They don't even know 
that you need compression sometimes when you're mixing. A lot of people don't even know the fundamentals of mixing. A lot of people don't know what questions to ask. And so a place like Full Sail sets you up to kind of learn along the correct path so that you build some really good fundamentals. Now, that isn't to say that you need their curriculum to succeed. I think if you are gonna go more of the self-teaching route, it's possible, but you need to be really smart about how you do it. And I think the best way to go about it now that I have some context of having been in the industry and having gone to full sale and still learning new things today, it's to ask the right questions. And the best way to ask the right questions is to just start. Ask yourself what you wanna do. If your thing is, how do I make a song? Do not search how to make a song because you will watch a two hour video and you'll be like, cool, I think I understand it. And then you'll try and you'll realize you forgot everything you learned and you'll give up because you'll be overwhelmed. The better thing to do is ask yourself, I wanna make a song, cool, make a song. Then ask yourself, what do I need to make a song? Well, a song has usually a groove or like drums or something. So start there, start really, really basic and search how to make a drum on GarageBand, whatever. And you'll learn how to do that. And it won't sound very good, but actually starting will lead to better questions. Like once you have a drum loop, you'll start asking how to make my drum loop sound better. And so you slowly start naturally undigging this kind of knowledge as you go, instead of just trying to pick it up all at once. And, and that is the way that you can learn a lot of the things that I learned at a place like Full Sail. Um, on your own, but you really do need to be very smart about what you search and what you choose to learn and how consistently you learn. And so if you know you're not the kind of person that's a little bit of a self-starter or you can, and you have trouble kind of, you know, knowing where to go next, then maybe a place like Full Sail or the equivalent is for you because they do a really good job of pointing you in the right direction. And you also get exposed to a lot of different things that will help you decide what you like and what you don't like. Do you like doing live sound? Do you hate doing live sound? Do you like mixing? Do you prefer producing, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of different things that you'll be exposed to. That being said, it is extremely expensive. It took me almost a decade of working in the industry as a professional to kind of pay off all those loans. Um, so it is a lot. I do think that you can learn a lot without having to go to a place like Full Sail, but it has its pros, it has its cons. So I wanted to make this video more than anything just to answer that main question about whether or not Full Sail is a scam. I get it all the time whenever I tell people that I went to Full Sail. I get a lot of interesting looks when I say I went to Full Sail. So I wanted to clear the air on that so that you can make a better decision yourself. Naturally, these are my opinions. I'm just a guy that went back in from 2009 to 2011. So I don't know how much it's changed, but I suspect that at its core, it's still very much similar in terms of how it markets itself and what it can offer. So I would love to hear from you in the comments if you've been to Full Sail, if you've been to something like Full Sail, maybe you have your own thoughts, maybe you feel like you did get scammed, or maybe you're thinking about going and you have more questions. I'd be happy to answer those in the comments. So feel free to just comment. And if this is your first time watching this channel and you're interested in learning about sound and audio engineering and all that kind of stuff and music production and whatever, subscribe. Because, because if you don't feel like taking out a huge, massive student loan, you have resources like this channel to learn. So subscribe. It's free. Costs nothing. All right. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions again, leave them down below. See ya.